Welcome Taurus and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. So Taurus, let's, let's get straight into them. For your crowning message, Taurus, you have Fall, Guide, and the answer is yes. Taurus, I feel that um, over this period, over the fall, perhaps over the Halloween um, uh, period of, of this month, I feel that you are asking for guidance of the person that you are connecting with if they are your twin flame and I feel that you divine is coming in and saying yes you may have kind of gone into a bit of retreat really contemplating this connection asking those questions and I feel as though you are really trying to make um, a wise choice. It's almost as though you don't want to jump into something and actually, you know, be disappointed. But I feel that during the month um, of October, this fall, um, particularly probably around the Halloween season, um, I feel that you will be illuminated um, to the person that you're connecting to and I feel as though you will know one way or another that they are your twin flame but for this reading I feel that divine spirit and the universe is coming in and saying to you yes they are and I feel as though with the uh, blue that's in this particular card you may be um, communicating with them um, which the blue represents the throat chakra. For your crowning wisdom message, you have 888. Karmic cycles are now coming to a close. Allow all parties to absorb the necessary lessons for growth. 22, 11, visions in your third eye are coming in the form of telepathic waves from your twin flame. And your last card, 1010. There is a divine plan in order. Let go of your need to know future events. That's really interesting with this card because, as I was saying, it's as though you are trying to ask for guidance if the person that you're connecting to is your twin flame. And I feel as though, Taurus, that you are being guided to uh, probably just work on yourself right now. Um, and just know that Divine's time is always perfect. I feel with the 888 card, you may be coming out of something um, that was a karmic cycle, a karmic partnership, and that's coming to a close. And I feel as though that's why you're going within. You, you want to make, you know, wise choices about who this person you're thinking about because it's almost as if you don't want to jump out of the fire into the frying pan and I feel that divine is saying that just allow all parties which I feel is also you to absorb the necessary um, lessons of growth which is probably why divine is coming in with this 1010 card to say, you know, you don't need to worry about the future. Right now, your focus is just observing the learnings um, that you have gone through with a past connection, possibly a karmic cycle that is closing out. And as you do so, I feel that your third eye chakra is opening up. And as that open, it's almost as if you're going through a bit of a transition. You know, one cycle is closing, another cycle is opening. And for now, you may be communicating telepathically with your twin flame. So even though I was picking up about this throat chakra, some sort of communication, which I sort see that as you actually 
you know, verbally, physically in the 3D communicating. I feel as though um, divine is guiding you to say that right now it, it, it needs to be that telepathic wave connecting with each other on that astral plane because I feel it's really important for you to to absorb, digest and process whatever it is that you are coming out of and just know that divine's timing is perfect. It's actually quite a beautiful message, um, Taurus, because it's as though you're, you know, you're you're getting rid of the past. You evidently have learned because you're going into this guidance, this kind of um, going within, you know, stopping thinking, asking for guidance before you make any decisions. But I feel as though divine is just giving you a little nugget to say, yes, the person that you are thinking about is your twin flame. Okay, let's get straight into your cards, Taurus. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 26th of October through to Sunday the 1st of November 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, let's see what's happening for you, Taurus. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Taurus, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in, thank you. Wow, look at that, offer, beautiful. My oh, and we have regret, material world, muse, and one more card for Taurus. Thank you. And summer, wow, divine's really guiding you towards the seasons. Um, Taurus, which is really interesting. Okay, so Taurus, I feel that the person that you are connecting to, um, I almost feel as though these two cards, offer and regret, is to do with the past connection, the one that you are coming out of a karmic cycle. I feel as if... Um, Either you or they wanted to make an offer in this connection. And either one of you, I feel, turned that down. And now they're feeling extremely regretful. I feel, Taurus, that you are throwing yourself into work. Um, trying to find that passion, that muse within your space, your environment, your atmosphere, maybe with people around you that almost can help you just move away from the past. It's almost as though you are, you know, this is a blank canvas and you are now painting a new future. And this is the card that I feel is um, almost representing the new person that's coming in, the person that you're asking, is this my twin flame? And I feel divine is saying yes. And I feel that it's going to come into full, full swing around the summer of next year, which is why I feel that, that um, divine is saying that you do need to allow time for all parties to really, really absorb the lessons and the growth. 
Let's get some clarifications. Please, can you, thank you. Yeah, this offer was round, around somebody's energy that was of the King of Cups. Somebody came in offering this cup of emotion for sure. Yep, they wanted to give to this connection. And this could be you, um, Taurus. You, the, the, the situation that you are in, you may have been the person that was coming in um, with this offer to this karmic past, um, partner and you were you were giving you wanted to give to this connection but for whatever reason you were feeling really left out in the cold which may have been the reason why you had to let go of this connection and as a result I feel that they have a lot of regret they are really really analyzing their decision um and I feel that they are very regretful because they didn't perhaps communicate to you how they were feeling because they were imbalanced with the two of coins. They may have been focusing too much on their work and not enough on this connection with the two of coins here. And the next card is, yeah, I feel as this, they were your... You saw them as your divine counterpart, which explains why you're asking this if this new person is your twin flame, because you may have thought that this was the the person that you were connecting to, the karmic partner, was actually your twin flame or a very, very deep soulmate. But you thought that there was love, and there probably was love there, um, but I feel as though you know, male or female, it doesn't matter. They were coming in with that energy of the Queen of Cups. And I, I, I say that you may have thought that they were your divine partner because you've got the King and the Queen of Cups here, which is a matching pair. Yeah, this person thought that you were their wish fulfillment. And you may have thought that... Um, they were your wish fulfillment. Another um, interpretation that I'm I'm kind of picking up is that the new person that is coming in is coming in as your divine counterpart and is your wish fulfillment. And this connection will probably be extremely abundant. Your next card is the tower. So I feel as though what triggered you to almost walk away from if this is the karmic connection, what what pushed you to walk away from it is that something happened that created this drama. And as a result, you now want a, a clean canvas, um, a new start. You are looking for inspiration um, elsewhere you're looking for that somebody that can almost be that muse that inspiration somebody that's creative and I feel as though the new person coming in with the um, six of cups is somebody that you are feeling really really nostalgic over and I feel as though you may be picking up that this is a very, very deep connection and it may possibly be your true twin flame. Most definitely have lived past lives together and maybe that's how, why the Muse card has come up because it's almost as if, you know, they are just so free-spirited. Um, they just bring you so much joy. It's almost as if they've just opened up your heart again um, but I do feel that this was quite quick, um, as though, you know, it was like, you know, one thing was over and then all of a sudden another door was opening and it almost feels as if that was meant to happen. During the summer months, Taurus, I feel that this might be your energy going into reflective mode because of the guide card. And that's what we were saying is that you don't want to make any rash decisions with this new connection coming in. And as such, you are just going within, reflecting on this um, uh, connection over the summer months, 
yeah and with the uh, seven of swords you're not going to tell them how you feel so this new person coming in taurus i definitely feel that you know them you've met them you know who they are but you are really um playing on the side of caution for sure but yet at the same time you are also quite curious as to whether or not you have a future with this person and divine is saying you don't need to worry about that but yet divine is almost giving you that little golden nugget to say yes the answer is yes they are your twin flame but this energy over here i feel as though it could have been a false twin flame um, it was definitely a karmic partner or karmic cycle that needed to be played out, needed to be broken. And they are extremely regretful, really, really analysing um, what went wrong. And they, I feel as though they're really, really imbalanced. And you may have thought with the King of Queen and the, uh, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups that they were your divine partner, your twin flame. But actually, it you know, this... Queen of Cups is right in the middle and I feel as going forward this new person male or female they're the person that is your true twin flame your wish fulfillment somebody that you've lived past lives with but it's as though it took this tower moment with this person over here for you to wipe the slate clean and almost you're you're the artist of your new future with this person but you don't want to rush in. I feel that you're going to be really reflecting over this connection and you certainly are not going to be telling them. But you may be communicating with them telepathically and they may be t communicating with you telepathically. Okay, Taurus, let's have a look at what your new your true twin flame would like to say to you on a soul level my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me what messages does the true twin flame want to say to the collective of taurus sun moon rising and venus for the last week of october 2020 in love on their twin flame journey that we're allowed to see for their highest good and thank you all right the first card you have i'm reminded of you constantly and i feel as though this is the person that you thought was your twin flame and you know what because I mean, I mean, a karmic partner, even though they may not be your twin flame, they still could be a very deep soul, um, a soulmate. But a soulmate that you made a specific soul contract to evolve and grow you. So maybe this person was never meant to be your long term partner. But what they were was somebody that came in to really shake you up to the core for whatever that is, whatever learning that you needed to learn, that's what they that's what they were brought into your that's what you guys agreed to. But on the 3D level, I feel as though you know some sort of offer was rejected, and I feel as though they are absolutely um really regretful of that. And they're just letting you know on a soul level that you know they are reminded of you constantly, you know. This may have been somebody that you were with for a very long time. And your second message, I feel this is from your, um, let's call them false twin flame. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have made different choices. Absolutely. And I feel as though it, you know, if they were focusing a lot on work and not focusing on the connection, they have a lot of regret for that. And now we're coming into your true twin flame and their message to you is being a part has, has been life changing for me. And yeah, absolutely. You guys are not in union. Um, I feel that this is a new connection, but just as you may be feeling them on a soul level, Taurus, I feel that they're also feeling you on that soul level. 
And the next question, um, the next uh, message to you, Taurus, from your truce um, twin flame says, your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. Absolutely. Just as they may be a muse for you, um, uh, Taurus, I feel that you may be inspirational and a muse energy for them. And your bonus card, look at that. We will be together soon. And yes, and I feel that is over the summer months for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. How beautiful is that? Absolutely beautiful. Now, normally the bonus card I normally put in the middle, but because I feel that these cards, this area here is a karmic partnership and this is the new, it feels as though um, the bonus card should be at the at the end here because it's the message of the new twin flame saying that we will be together soon and i feel that that union is going to come in that connection is going to start growing coming together um around the summer months of next year okay taurus let's have a look and see what messages you would like um to say to your true twin flame well actually it may be let's just see what comes out so first of all we have i am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life you are a gift from the eternal heart of love a blessing from a most benevolent universe and i feel as though your um your past karmic partner i feel that this is how you were feeling towards them and that's probably why you know you are going on the side of caution for this new connection. Next message is a profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. Absolutely. And again, I, I, I'm going to repeat it. This is very odd. I've never really done a reading where you've got two, you know, a real deep soulmate that was a karmic partner um, that I feel that you were with for a long time uh, and and your true twin flame coming forward. But you know what, Taurus, is as, as it is as though you have no animosity between you know the person of 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 your past and you know there is love there because i feel this may be your energy with the king of cups male or female it doesn't matter but you may have been the one that made this offer and they turned it down but the love that you have for them is still there so even though they are saying to you, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have made different choices. What you're saying to them is that they're going through a major transformation um, and that, you know, they just need to be themselves and allow love to transform them, their relationships and their love life. It's as, it's as, uh, it is as though you are just wishing them the best for the future. And going forward to your new twin flame, your message here to them says, you are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow in love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past and forgive anything that needs forgiving. And I feel as though uh, Taurus, like I said, this is somebody that you do know, but you're just not sure. And because you know them on that soul level, they're letting you know that being apart from you on that soul level, those past life experiences that you've gone through together has, you know, being apart from you has been life changing for them. And I feel that you are just, you know, giving them some sort of reassurance that you know what will be will be which is very much resonating with the 1010 card letting go of the need to know future events because what will be will be and all they need to know is that you know they're 
their love um, and has been a blessing to you, um, both in the past and maybe there was something that needed to be forgiven. Um, but maybe also it almost feels like the karmic connection. I feel as though it's put you on the stepping stones to forgive something of your new twin flame because you know you know on the 3d when we do get involved with people yes it's going to be you know a, you know roses and really um beautiful in the beginning but as you get into the relationship you may discover something about this person and um, patterns behaviors that you you know that you that you may be questioning and thinking and that may be one of the reasons why you are going into guidance um, and asking the question is this is this true truly my twin flame and I feel as though you know they may need some forgiving um, you may need to forgive yourself but somehow there's a connection between the karmic partner and your twin flame and it almost is, is, is a, it is as though, um, I don't know what's wrong, Taurus, I just can't speak this evening. Um, it's almost as though the lessons and the learnings that you learned here has taken you to the next level in order for you, to, for you and your twin flame to actually uh, make your way to each other. Because whatever you learned here, you will take that into this new relationship. And that's where I feel the test is going to be. Did you really truly learn from that lesson from the karmic partner? And that is where you have the opportunity to, to paint a whole new a, a life, a whole new future. And your next message to your true twin flame, it says, this is a favor favorable time for matters of the heart a time of inspiration and healing, a relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. Now, that just totally sums up exactly what um, we were saying, that this connection is like an inspiration to you. Um, and I feel that you are just letting this person know that, you know, it is time for inspiration. It's time for healing. And this connection will blossom. And I feel that, you know, them saying to you, your intensity frightens and allures me at, allures me at the same time. Absolutely. Because there is just that connection and the aspiration, the manifestation that you both will be um, uh, playing, I suppose, or you know, in meditation about, in prayer about, um, over the summer months is what is going to bring this connection in, um, together. And your final message to their message to you, we will be together soon. Let's see what you'd like to say, Taurus. What would Taurus like to say to their true twin flame in response to we will come together, we will come together again. Thank you. And your message says, look at that. In order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realise the spiritually that spiritually we are always connected to those we love. Neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. And you know what? That's why divine is saying let go of the need to know. And that might be to both of you. I feel that even though they are saying to you, you know, we will be together soon. I feel that you are echoing that um, and, and just echoing the fact that you are both in separation. <clears throat> just know that spiritually you guys are always connected because you are connected by the unity of love. Fascinating message, um, Taurus. Um, it feels as though it's a small number of you that I'm reading for, but those that resonate that's coming out of something that they thought was um, a twin flame. Actually, I feel that you're closing the door of that, but you are applying caution to somebody new that I feel has sparked your attention. 
Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave that there um, for now. If this resonated with you, please, please feel free to click the thumbs up because all it does is push the video out um, so that more Taurus um, energies can, uh, you know, receive this message because that's ultimately what it's about. Um, if you do wish to subscribe, that is your choice. I will leave that up to you. Um, and I... Yeah, I would suggest check out your moon rising and Venus signs because you've got two sets of energies that have come through very, very strongly here, um, Taurus. So if you kind of want to hone it in a little bit, it may be worth having a look at your moon rising and Venus signs and seeing, you know, seeing which which energy is going to come through. Will it be the true twin flame or the karmic partner? And I feel that you'll be able to gauge a little bit more to your story this week. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And um, in the meantime, until next week, or actually later on, um, because I'm going to be doing the monthlies, um, I'm just wishing you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care, Taurus. Bye-bye.